Hello, Tanya Milano Snell, parent coach. And I am here with part two, day two of the five days to break through boredom challenge. So if you are on YouTube, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the videos and jump into the Facebook group because that's where the challenge lives. This is just the um, video that goes with the activities. If you're in my Facebook group, you can find the challenge in the guide section anytime you need to. Um, and make sure to uh, comment on the videos and on the posts to be entered to win the prize at the end of the five days. Okay, so let's get started. Today is all about gratitude, day two, gratitude. So the daily activities include some um, play, intentional play with the kids, um, some projects you can set up for your home to make gratitude an important theme. Um, you may already have some practices, so share those with us in the comments. We love to hear what other families are doing. I've shared what our family likes to do. Um, and then what else? There is a, usually there's a yoga sequence or a book that goes along with the activities that I put in a snack to make it fun with the theme. So find all of the activities in the Facebook group and that will be in the description of this video. So today I wanted to talk about the importance of play. So hopefully you find play important. Even as an adult, we need play because it's good for the brain. So I've written down the nine things that make play important for your mind, body, and soul. Um, you might want to get a notebook too because I couldn't remember them all, so I wrote them all down. So I'm going to look at my notes. Um, but one of my favorite sayings is a family that plays together stays together. So you have to make fun and play an important part of your weekly routine and even daily routine, especially because this challenge is all about breakthrough boredom and it's a great challenge for school breaks. So making play and being playful um, an important part of your weekly routine or your daily routine will help everybody <laughs> with their just everything, emotional, mental, social, uh, physical health. So I'm going to get into that list in just a second. I'm just making sure there aren't anybody commenting here because I can't see my comments. I'm still learning how to live stream from StreamYard or Restream. I'm testing both. I would like to see how they both work before I figure out my go-to. Okay, so I don't see it streaming. So I guess I still haven't figured it out. Maybe I am on YouTube. I think I'm on YouTube. Um then I'll share it in the Facebook group. Now, the benefits to play. Number one, bigger brain, better early development. So in the first five years of brain development, they're the most important. So play is how we learn in those early years. And it's actually when we feel safer, we learn better. So even adults, if we think of school, conference, whatever, if we are having more fun and we feel less stressed, we learn better. Number two, um, it's smarter, faster learning, and it's better memory. So when we learn through playing, we learn faster, and it's committed to memory easier. Number three, more play equals more creativity. Now, this is all research-based stuff I took from an article. So you can look all this up, but more play equals more creativity. Makes sense, right? 
when we are feeling more free, more joyful, that's when our creative juices start flowing. Number four, through play, we can learn better communication, more vocabulary, and more language develops. So yeah, that's a great one. Number five, we learn greater impulse control and we learn more emotional regulation through play. It can be quite frustrating to play sometimes. Um, that's when a lot of these social interactions come out. I'm here to help with that. If you have questions, that's my specialty. I was a preschool teacher. I know what it's like when you're trying to play and all this emotional turmoil comes out, but that's where the greatest learning happens in those moments. Number six, greater social competence, more empathy, and we are happier. So more play means we are building our social competence, we are developing empathetic skills, and we tend to be happier. This is research-based. Number seven, more play leads to better health. So if we're doing all of this stuff, of course, we're going to be healthier, happier, healthier. Number eight, lots of life lesson learning. So the reason I developed five days to break through boredom is because often we get those whiny, I'm bored, complaining, there's nothing to do. Well, through in, intentional play or through lack of ideas, we start to learn some really important lessons that we're not always going to have everything ready and willing and able to entertain us. So through play, we learn so many lessons. And the last one, number nine, we build better relationships through playing. So back to my motto, a family that plays together stays together. You're going to build way better relationships if you can play together, whether it be, um, I know some of us have a hard time with those early years playing dress up and um, kitchen, house. But if you could just give your kids a little bit of connection time through that play, oh, the wonders that come from it. Be present, give it a try, and all these lessons come from it. And you learn so much about your child through play. Um, it could be game, family game night. Um, play can be out on a hike, fishing, uh, whatever you like to do that is playful. That's where we're going to build those better bonds in our family. So if this sounds interesting to you, please jump in my Facebook group. This is part two, day two. And the theme for the day is gratitude. So all the activities have to do with building gratitude in your family. Um, and also, if this is also something interesting to you to be able to play together and um, you're interested in yoga, I have a family yoga club and a lot of the videos, it's an online yoga library for you. A lot of the videos you can do together and it's really playful. Um, yoga should be fun and joyous. So if that's something interesting to you, check out my links and jump in the yoga club. I'd love to have you. So I will see you tomorrow for part three and have a lovely day, everybody.